yeah. Uh, hello everybody, this is Chromas Grows Germany, and this is part 6 of my Let's Play of Seduce Me the Atome. Yeah, I just had to look that up, because I, I just recorded for it yesterday and I forgot. Uh, that's how bad my memory is. Anyway, uh, last we left off, we uh, came downstairs with Damien, ran into Matthew and the rest of the guys, and we got the little creepy gremlin uh, doll that belongs in a gremlins movie. Uh, anyway, um, I guess we can continue on where we left off. Uh, I've got... I'm gonna get to spend time with my boyfriend today. I'm not sure what we're gonna do or when he's gonna get up. But he went to sleep about... 9.30 since he got home from work. I'm guessing about 6.30 and stayed up a little bit. Because he went, said he was going to sleep at 9.30. Hopefully he did. Uh, let's see... He's been asleep for probably four hours. More or less. Anyway, let's continue. And hopefully he'll wake up soon. Uh, not soon, but at least maybe five o'clock. Then I can... Uh, hopefully go spend some time with him. Maybe have a date or something. I don't know. It depends, also depends on if his car is fixed. Because he said it was in the shop. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, excuse me. All at once, they looked at, uh, they looked at me. I didn't know why, but having all of them look at me made me feel kind of important. Like, I don't know why she's thinking this, <laughs> like a queen or something. I don't know why. Like I said, I don't know why she's thinking this. I guess she's just not used to having guys look at her. I don't know. Hold on. So I'm kind of turning the uh, volume up a little bit on my on the game. Hopefully. What is it, Miss? Yeah, I think it turned up a bit. Uh, I wanted to thank you for the food, but I still want to know why you all came here. I feel like I don't quite understand. Understand? Yeah, like being told that a bunch of incubi randomly appearing in your home was perfectly understandable. Oh, um, how do we explain? We were attacked. We came here to heal. What's so difficult to understand? And that that's not that's in itself it's not that difficult to understand, it's just she doesn't know, you know, who attacked you or why you were attacked in the first place, stuff like that. Now you're just being rude, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, how is that difficult to understand? And we're going after this guy. <laughs> then again, it's your guys' pick. No, I mean what specifically happened, yeah. Well, you see, we've been traveling around for quite some time now. Just recently we came into town, but we were jumped by this band of... misfits. <laughs> Notice he kinda hesitated on saying it? Something going on here. So, in order to escape and heal, we came here for shelter. Again, we apologize for the mess we made. It's fine, I guess. So, you're all better now, right? Yup, all thanks to you. Huh? Yeah, huh, me? You see, beautiful, we feed on sexual energy. Really? The we way don't just get it that. from kissing lovely ladies such as yourself. We can simply touch someone's hand to obtain sexual energy. Everyone carries sexual energy, you know. Really? You had to say that three times in this whole thing. Good God. <laughs> I was still in shock about their powers. It wasn't just kisses that gave them power, it was anything physical. No wonder I was out for a while. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Eric, what are you smiling for? Matthew, what are you smiling for? The Ezekiel intrigued me, but at the same time I could almost hear a warning siren going off in my head. Yeah, considering what your parents might think about all this. Is there anything else you wish to know? Uh, well, what do you all plan to do now? Yeah, what are we going to do now, James? That is a very good question. We just got here and surely we'll be hunted again if we leave. We can take him easily. Oh really, that just worked out so well last time. Not without more training, Sam. The result of that was clearly evident in our last encounter with them. He's got a point, Sam. If you can't beat him now, what makes you think you can beat him then? I mean... Unless they completely took you by surprise. In which case, you might have a better chance if you guys had the upper hand, but uh -uh, it's probably going to end up the same way. 
or worse. And we don't want that. At that moment, I didn't know what came over me, but I suddenly felt sorry for them. They couldn't possibly survive, that, fr survive out there. If they didn't know it was illegal to break into people's homes, they probably didn't know a bunch of other stuff. They would probably would cause chaos all over town. Again, we don't know what they actually know. Mm. Or, on the flip side, they could be taken in for questioning and be poked and prodded like lab frogs for research. That was even worse. Yeah, that is worse. But most of all, they reminded me of back then. And here we go with a flashback. Again. I was standing alone. The entire classroom was filled with laughter and chatter, but I stood in the midst of it, quiet and alone. It was strange seeing the whole world pass in front of me with such vibrancy all while I stood there. On the plus side, I wasn't engaged in any of the drama that might have arisen, like scribbling on someone's paper for revenge or kicking someone too hard. It was kind of nice just standing back and watching things pass by and life go on. I had long before convinced myself that I preferred being alone. I often said to myself in encouragement, Yeah, I want to be alone. There's no one li no one I like better than me, so I ought to spend more time with myself. <laughs> oh, that's what all lonely people say just about. I want to be alone. They're just trying to convince themselves, yeah. But there was a certain bitterness that, coupled with being alone, made me feel so sad. There was a difference between being alone and lonely. Yeah, there is. I just didn't realize it at the moment. And even after that moment, my father, my mother, there was no one to turn to. I was so lonely. Well, they'd try and make friends! That's when I decided on it right then. I was going to see my grandfather. I didn't care if my father wouldn't take me. I was going to walk my way over there and see what he had to say about it. Really? You're going to try and find- Do you even know where your grandfather lives? Hello? You could get easily get lost and kidnapped or worse. And then you would be your fault because you did not stay at the school. I had never met I never met I have never seen him before that. Really? Really, Michaela? Michaela, I hope you're watching this let's play because then you get an idea of any grammatical errors that you have in this game and help you figure out for the next games you make. What better time to see him then? If no one else was going to help me with what I was feeling, I might as well have turned to him. In theory, that'd be a good idea, but considering you're probably a little kid. Yeah, considering what she said about scribbling on people's papers for revenge, I'd say that's probably a little kid's thing. So she's probably little, real little, so... If you really want to see your grandfather, best bet would be to ask your mother to take you. If your father is definitely not going to take you. Because I'm sure she would. So, after school, I decided to walk there. I had no idea how to get there, and I was armed with only a scrap of paper with- Okay, see, so she does have the address. Okay. Only a scrap of paper with the address scribbled on it. Okay, so she's seven years old in this flashback. She's 18 at present, so that was 11 years ago. Dang! As a seven-year-old, I obviously had great ideas. Oh yeah, Sark Mark. <laughs> I soon became lost, and, like I always do when I felt lost, I just stood there on the sidewalk, back pressed up against the wall and eyes looking at the strangers passing by. Yep. And, like always, people continued to pass by, and life continued to go on. I was sadder than ever. I had ended up in the situation I was originally in. Nothing had changed. I thought that I was silly for even thinking that I could change things with my own hands. Really? You can change things with your own hands, it just takes work. And in your case, you need help. That was until a voice brought me back to reality. Hun, is that you? Yep, you ended up somehow being found by your own grandfather. Quizzes! I looked up and saw an fami unfamiliar face, but it was obvious that whoever was talking to me knew who I was. Who else would know you? Besides possibly the teachers. But I don't think that's your teacher. And from that moment, things began to change. Life began moving its rusty hit joints and I realized that things were moving along. Suddenly, I had become part of the crowd that moved like a blur past me. I was no longer someone who stood still and watched others hurry past me. Life had changed. I had changed. Because the very person who found me that day 
was my grandfather. Yeah. Thankfully. You got lucky, girl. Some creepy person could have found you and who got gotten who knows what would have happened to you at that point. I had the opportunity to help them, though would I? I wanted to, but I wasn't sure if that was the best idea. After all, five demons in my house wasn't exactly the living arrangement that I had imagined when I first moved in. Yeah. I think your parents would agree on that. There was a matter of making sure no one found out about their powers. Thinking about them as lab rats make my stomach queasy. And even if they pass for humans, yeah, they do kind of look human. How would I explain having guys living in my house? Yeah. That is a good way to, that is a good point. How are you going to explain that? Though, considering the size of the house, you could probably pass them off as the staff to the house. If they agreed, that is. Yeah, imagine if my friends came over. They were practically the cause part of a harem or something. Actually, that would be a reverse harem, not a harem. A harem is one male and a bunch of girls. A reverse harem is the uh, what you're in, girl. Oh god, imagine if my parents came over. I think I'm on my faint, and I think your father would probably call the cops. Yeah, who knows what my dad would do. I think he'd have, yeah, he'd have him arrested on the spot, yeah. And who knows how he would react to you being there. Who knows? Ugh, this is hard. Maybe I should have written out a pros and cons list before actually having to make the decision. You just came up with the idea. You hit a none, you were gonna do- this will be a hard one. Don't, Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. Aww. You hear your grandfather's voice. It was strange that I happened to remember what my grandfather said to me when I was little. But it did kind of make sense. They weren't in the same exact situation I was in before. But I did want to help them out. I think it would ease my conscience and also make me a bit happy to give them help. As weird as that sounded. <laughs> Sorry, I just finished eating my lunch and I decided to go on and get some of this stuff done. Clenching my hands into fists, I strike my resolve to speak up. Well, um, you could... Really? What was that, lovely lady? Don't stumble over your words, girl. That is... Uh... Really? You should have formed the dang thoughts in your head before speaking. Spit it out already. Oh, shut up, Sam. You could stay with me here if you like. Actually, I think it would sound better if it said you could stay here with me. Instead of with me here. Just sounds better the other way. As soon as I finished my sentence, the room became still. I'm not sure what went through their heads all of us from my words. The silence in the air cut like a knife until I finally spoke up once more. It seemed like you all needed a place to stay, and, well, I just moved into this giant house, so it seemed like it makes sense. It was still quiet in the room, so I decided to keep talking. If you would like to stay here, though, there are two things that I need all of you to follow. Yes. Kind of sounded a bit. James' voice kind of sounded a bit eager, like he was hope, really hopeful, and wanting to stay. First of all, you can't use your powers or deliberately do something that might harm me or any guest that comes over. Well, say for enemies, but you get the drill. That sounds reasonable. Yeah, it does. Second, you have to help me with any errands around the house. This place is kind of big, so yeah. That is a generous offer, miss. Are you sure that would be okay? We don't wish to burden you any more than we already have. It's alright, really. I mean, I just started living here myself, so I would appreciate some help around the house. A wonderful idea. And Sam's not we'll happy. we here and train while helping you with the house. Servants for the lovely princess. And that's when he starts calling you princess. Even if you don't romance him, he calls you princess. That's right, if you, if you don't romance him, he still calls you that. He's his pet name for you. And as you can see, Sam's not happy. What? Are you serious? Yep, I knew it. Shh, be quiet, Sam. I haven't slept in a bed for days. Oh, poor Matthew. Well, don't worry, we got plenty of soft beds here. <laughs> they all seem to like the idea, well, except for Sam, obviously. And hey, I didn't really hate the idea either, even if they were incubi. It would be interesting having five guys help me with taking care of the house, 
given that they follow the rules I just laid down. Grr, fine! But we're not staying here forever. Only until we can beat up that group of punks. That sounds reasonable. Though, after that happens... What are you guys going to do? I think that is a reasonable time limit for our stay. Yes! This is awesome! Also beautiful, if you need a bedfellow... Really, Eric? You're going to offer that? Um... Eric, knock it off. Thank you, James. I was happy that they agreed. Maybe it was because I wasn't going to be lonely for a while. Maybe it was because they all needed help and my want to help people was fulfilled. I can never be- I would never be sure. So, what are we waiting for? Let's celebrate and dig in! Oh yeah, the food's still sitting there. I wonder if it's cold by now. Finally! I'm starving! Really? Ah! Hello? No, he's not. Shut up. Ugh! Always an interruption at some point. Instantly, Matthew and Sam began to stuff themselves with the food on the table. I noticed James' eye kind of twitching in an irritation, so I stifled my incoming laugh. Although, I could probably, I'd probably laugh anyway. Really, you two? You're both acting like pigs. Oh, let them have a little freedom, James. It's not like we've eaten recently, either. I'm sure they've been starving. Still, that's no excuse for stuffing their faces like backyard swine. I almost couldn't hold it in. <laughs> oh, look at her face. <laughs> it's so cute. I like the way the faces change like that. Okay, for Sam's root... Okay, here it is. This one is for Damien's. This one is for James. And this one is for Eric, Sam, and Matthew. So I'm going with this one. See? <laughs> I couldn't hold in my laughter anymore. As I laughed, Matthew and Sam looked my way, faces stuffed. I imagine their cheeks are kind of sticky, puffed up, like, because I have so much food in their mouths. Is something funny? <laughs> you guys did a really good job on the voice acting, is all I get to say. What are you laughing at? I imagine when they were doing this, these lines right here, that they actually had food in their mouths to make it sound more realistic. I stopped to catch my breath. I leaned over the table and took a few breaths before replying. You both are so funny. <laughs> Both of their faces turned a slight pink before they looked away from me, and they swallowed the food in their mouths. Sh shut up! We're not funny. We're hungry. So it's still funny. The way you're, f <laughs> the way you're eating, you got eating the food. Well, we're we're glad that we made you laugh. Shut up, Matthew. What? I'm just saying. What? You can be grateful, but you certainly aren't. <laughs> See, James, it's entertainment for her. <laughs> and, like I said, James isn't happy about that. He, uh... They were funny to me. At least they enjoyed the food. As I watched, I took, uh... A couple of pieces of food for myself and put them on my plate for eating as well. Eventually, we all ate dinner together. It was strange eating with just guys, but... They were enjoyable to be around. They made me, f they made me feel like a part of their family as we ate together. However, our peace was soon disturbed. You turn the tables on me now, you drop me in the cage so how I can never escape from you, but baby, that's alright. Why couldn't they have played the whole song for that? I mean, good god. I like that song. Michaela, you guys did a great job with the opening theme song. Same for the second game as well. Huh? It's my mom, excuse me. Hello? Hey, honey, how are you? I'm sorry I didn't get to see you off. I wish you could have come too. I would have gotten a better well, better goodbye from you. Hi, Mom. Everything's fine. I'm actually eating dinner right now. Oh, good, good. So there was food there. Well, your father wanted me to call and talk to you about having a house party tomorrow night. Tomorrow? So new house and all. Good God. Short notice, much. A house party? Tomorrow night? So soon? Yeah, it is soon. Your father insists. You know how he is with events. You'd think that if my mom had, if her mom had her way, it would be giving me at least a few days 
to prepare a house party, but no. Her father had to be the one to plan it. Or not plan it, but to set a date. I know exactly what she meant. He didn't like long relaxing periods between important events. It was slightly messed up. Yeah. I was expected to act on a drop of a dime, from moving immediately the day after a funeral to my grandfather's house to now organizing a party. I know. Well, since I don't exactly have you two here to help me arrange it, I'm gonna need some time to help prepare, time to prepare things. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, that's fine. I mean, Suzu and Naomi can help. I have work, and you know how your father is. Yeah, sadly, he is one of those guys that's not gonna help you with stuff. He's gonna expect you to do it yourself. Yeah, I know, I have to do it myself. He won't help. I'm sure it'll be amazing, honey. I have faith in you. Oh, that's good. Thanks, Mom. Alright, I gotta go. I love you, sweetie. Aw, at least she says I love you. Good God. I love you too, Mom. Great. Now how am I gonna do this? Is something wrong? She has to organize a house party for her parents. Really, Davy, and you couldn't have just let me say it? Huh? How did you... Oh, right. Mind reading. <laughs> see, see how she forgets that? You'd think she'd remember that, considering he can read her thoughts any time. <sighs> Ugh. I feel like I got something in the back of my throat. Mm. But, yeah, I gotta do it soon or my parents will be really disappointed. I'll have to stay up and organize everything tonight. Hey, why don't we help you? That's what we're here for, right? Yeah, I'd really love the help. If all five of you guys were helping me, it'd go by a lot easier. I don't see why not. I can name a few reasons why we shouldn't. Sam, really? Sam? Back off! Uh, we'll take care of everything, miss. Just leave everything to us. That was surprising. I didn't think the boys would offer to help right off the bat. I couldn't help but smile. It was act I was actually rather thankful now that I let them stay. Now I didn't have to do everything alone. As I kept thinking about it, I couldn't help but yawn. Ugh. Feeling a little tired over there, princess? See? I, got I gotta keep a counter of how many times he says princess. But I think I'll do save that for his route. Because I'll say it more. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a long day. At least tomorrow's the weekend so I can sleep in. Yeah, I know how that feels considering today is Friday as I'm recording this. Then it hit me. Wait, where are you all going to sleep? What are you thinking, girl? There's probably more than one bedroom in this dang house. We found some guest rooms on the opposite end of the house from the master bedroom. I'm sure those will do just fine. That's good. Oh, got it. Alright then, I'm heading to my room and st to study and sleep, I guess. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night. I will. You too. Well, with that, I left the dining room and went to my room. Eric, no. <laughs> what, is he gonna do something? <laughs> oh god, not the Eric. <laughs> what? I wasn't going to do anything. Yes, he was. Judging from that smile on his face. Yes, he was. <laughs> oh, Damien. Oh, that mind reading comes in handy. Shh. <laughs> as soon as I got into my room, a wave of exhaustion hit me. Why am I so tired all of a sudden? I just woke up from that nap. Well, considering the fact that he, the guys have been touching you, that's probably why. They've been taking energy from you. Ugh. I got something running on my nose. Ugh. Let's see what time it is. It's been 24 minutes. I could I can go on a little bit longer. Maybe a couple more minutes. I dragged myself to my bed and hauled up one of my bags. I opened it and grabbed my economics book, knowing that no matter how tired I was, I had to study at least a page or two before sleeping at last. Great, I'm so glad I am not in school anymore. I hate studying, especially something I don't like. The words on the page scrambled in my mind as I read them read through them, but after two or three tries, I managed to understand what the page was about. Equations. Ugh. I know how you feel, girl. I don't think I'd be able to do very well in economics. 
I barely got through statistics. Finally, I decided to change into my pajamas and head to bed. Today had been a long day, and I needed the rest. Oh, yeah, today was a very long day, girl. Hopefully, tomorrow will be better. Three days of surprises in a row would kill me. <sighs> yeah. I feel like I cannot talk, because I feel like I got something in my nose, and it's kind of making it hard to breathe. With that thought in my mind, I tried. I drifted to sleep, embracing the darkness of slumber. And with that, I think I'm going to end this part off here, you guys. I will see you all next time, where we go to the next day and try and plan the party. <laughs>